Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kickoff here. A little bit grey overhead and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters and expectations high in both caps. Well, this really is a great venue, it adds. It's Podolski! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Gets it back. Chalik has got himself a free kick. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't. And the finish! He's got away with one there. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. And it's played forward. Oh, he's broken through. And the shot! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Danger averted for now. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Battles to win it back. And Talia Spore were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Hoists it forward. Umut Bulut plays it out to the flank. Plays a clever pass. Goalkeeper's ball. Yeni Malachaspor have statistically the worst defence in the league. And the counter is on. Looks to clip it forward. Nice little chip. And the flag has stayed down. Chooses to go. Shoots! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. In with a header! And if we get that clear, and we've reached half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So there was the first half. And Taliaspor ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been... He's gone for it! There it is! Well, what a time for the captain to step up and put his team in front again. But while it doesn't necessarily guarantee a win here, it's a wonderful early boost in this second half. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Hits one! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Rumut Pulut. And Talia Spohr are in superb form defensively. Five consecutive clean sheets. Cross deflected behind for a corner. He's played it short. He's had a shot! It's off target and by quite a way. They're probably getting frustrated by the lack of chances, I suppose. Dinks one in. Has a hit! Oh, that is asking for trouble. He's had a go! It's in! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. 
And here's Umut Bullet. Tries to get it forward quickly. Defenders on the back foot. He goes long. Chachu. He gets past his man. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. He's pinged one through here. Going through. Striding forward. Facing goal. Oh, he's found him in space. That's just an example of over committing and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention it was vital this could spell danger big chance yes and they are pulling clear here and Talia Sport are looking strong on the break winning the ball in midfield is one thing but it's their clever use of counter attacking that's the real highlight and Talyaspor take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. So that's it. It is all over. And Talyaspor have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away this one of the great amphitheaters of the game you are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures and as you can see we've already started here so jim tell me this who are you looking for in particular here yeah killian mbappe there's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you a full oh, shooting chance! Oh, within an inch or two. Oh, and it's such a good effort. And maybe the target really should have been hit. Mbappe. And Talyaspor must be pretty concerned about this fixture pileup. Yeah, and when you've got fixture congestion, it only takes an injury or two and it can heap more pressure on a, you know, a very difficult spell. Is it out of harm's way? Going for goal! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. And they've been caught out here. He's making good use of it. Mbappe! That's a half decent try. Completely wrong. He's played him through. And the shot! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. I think that defence will be feeling mightily relieved now. They were really saved by some poor finishing then. Hoists it forward. A 
And they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Has a hit! It's off target and by quite a way. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Danger averted for now. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And that's been leave it clear. Good idea, just poorly executed. And it's the whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So we reached the halfway point. And Talyaspor ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we are already promptly back on the way. And Talyaspor, big chance! Looks to bypass the midfield. Well, that's where he wants it. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Kasim Pasha, seek a performance here, which reflects rather better on the boss. He's taken a fair amount of criticism in the wake of the last game. Look, some of the scrutiny is a bit over the top these days, and you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. But he really didn't help himself. His decision-making was puzzling, to say the least. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Tries to get it forward quickly. Chance to break. Plays it out to the flank. Turns and goes. He's had a go! Missed by a fraction. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Certainly the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. In with the challenge. And it's played forward. And the through ball is intercepted. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I preferred. Podolski duly reaps his reward, kept his call cool whilst the defence lost their bearings. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top. Yeah, he's failed him there. Kudryashov goes upfield. Hadajanai goes looking. Mbappe! So that's it. It is all over. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. Really watchable. Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. 
The crowd though are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. We have already started here. He's had a go! Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Keeper has beaten it away. Goes for the cross. Oh, that tries a shot! And for a moment, time stood still. Oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Chalik gets it back. And Talia Spore were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Forward it goes. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that... Def well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Tokers, Tosun tries to get it clear. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Tries to get it forward quickly. Shoots! What a wonderful goal! And always such a great time to score. A brilliant boost before you head in for half time, and you can guarantee that dressing room will be buzzing now. Really outwitted one on one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, and he knew all along what he won. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. There we are. Off they go for half time. The great group did indeed come in the first half only been that one goal it is very very tight well that certainly pleased the fans and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline the question is now can they protect it and Talia Spore come off having scored the only goal of the game so far it's been tight it's been exciting and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break so we're just settling back into this second half and Talia Sport really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Has a hit! It's in! Two up now, and they are cruising. And Talia Sport are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter. Goes for goal! And more, and more, and more. And they are cruising away. And it has to be said, an absolute gift. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly. And they don't know how to stop him. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of my... Has a hit! In it goes! It is no contest. It is a landslide. That was easy, almost too easy.
Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. And Tagaspor tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Shoots! Sticks it away! Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Well, I think we've gone past humiliation now. This could be doing some real psychological damage. Four in the game. He is the man. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. And that's that. And Taliaspor, comfortable winners, a virtuoso display. So we're down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly heading towards its big climax. A dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation. And that is only rising as we head towards kickoff time. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. And they've been caught out here. Muslera chooses to deal with it himself. Seems now to be all about wit. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Chachu. Real chance. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. A finish right from the top draw. Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day. And Taliaspor get themselves into the lead. Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering and... Has a pop! It's in! And they're at it again in double quick time. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Has a pop! Marcao Teixeira. And it's played forward. Foot in. Ball's loose. And he's after it. Played into the middle. Knocks it away. Decent progress down the left. He's left his man. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. That was easy. Almost too easy. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Three without reply. 
And the first half is done. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes. But one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Antonio Spohr are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Chachu. He's made good progress from a deep position. Shot a goal! Saved! It's good keeping. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Receives it, Valcao is on his own. Referee has just said play on. Yeah, he's fouled in there. Fence has got rid of that. And it's for Gooley. A real chance if he can get through. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's been taken straight back. Tries lifting it over. And here's Falcao. And here's the, it's Falcao! And that's off target. Lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. And helps available out wide. He's had a shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Now it's Falcao. Fakuli. Chalik battles to win it back. Forward it goes. He gets past his man. Marcao Teixeira. And time is up. Antalya Spore came, saw and conquered. And our big favourites now. To... Antalya Spor come here looking every inch the semi-finalists having done a thoroughly convincing job on the same opponents in part one of this tie. The mood of course therefore is good, certainly if you belong to the right camp. The question in their minds, not whether their team will progress, but can they do it with real style? We are soon, very soon, to receive the answer to that. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. So one terrific performance under their belts. Now they've got to do it all again, Jim. With a lead this big, it's tempting to think you're in the semis already. Perhaps even beyond. But this lot of... Gets up to head it! Nuri Shaheen! And Talyaspor have created a real intensity from the start, and there's no sign of any let up. And 
looked out for a goal kick. Kudryashov tries to get it forward quickly. Quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. And Tagaspor take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. He tries a shot! Goal! And already they're looking to run away with it. The purest possible contact. What a fabulous strike. Yeah, I just thought, hits one! It's anyone's ball. Danger averted for now. Galatasaray have made it clear what they're trying to do for me. Has a hit! And it's there! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this... And the half-time whistle goes. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward. Halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? And Tagaspor, three goals to the good after a really excellent first half that's been intriguing to watch. Plenty of highlights to show you during the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. Cleared without complication. Chachu. Kudryashov goes looking. Well read, he sorted that out. Chachu with the cross. <laughs> Referee's given a throw. Chachu plays a clever pass. Oh, shooting chance! Defending of the desperate variety. Gets hit one! Oh, extraordinary. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Nguyen Dama gets wrestled off the ball. And the shot! Lacking in accuracy. Quick thinking and quick control, Peter. That creates a, a little more working space. Rapidly approaching the end, now just moments away from a semi-final place. Cuts it out. And the defence can get it clear. Ball's gone out of play. Two minutes to be added on. To throw. And that 
will be the final act. And Talia Spore have got it done through to the last four and evidently now.